Hi, following previous videos dedicated to the protocols of fixing ceramic restorations, today on the How to Dentist channel we will tell about the effect of concentration and etching time of hydrofluoric acid on ceramics. Consider the two most common glass ceramics, feldspar and lithium silicate. Here is composition. Despite the fact that the biggest part is silicon oxide and its amount is approximately the same, there is a huge difference in the properties. And it's related to the phase in which silicon oxide will be – amorphous, glass phase or crystalline. The proportion of the glass phase and the crystalline phase depends on the temperature and the firing time during manufacture of ceramic in the plant. The strength of lithium silicate ceramic is about 450 MPa is due to the fact that it contains more crystals and crystalline crystalline phase, so when cracks appear, the crystals act as a barrier to further propagation. That's why it has so strength. The strength of feldspar ceramic is about 154 MPa. Recommendations for concentration and etching time for different manufacturers differ. We will try to understand what this may be related to. In the scientific study was tested the effect of hydrofluoric acid concentration and application time on adhesion to lithium desilicate. Here are the results. First column is the number of the test group, second etching time, the third concentration of hydrofluoric acid and the fourth adhesion strength. As we see the concentration of 4 and 6 tenths percent is the most optimal for the same etching time. In the study with feldspar ceramics the results are approximately the same for 3, 5 and 10 percent acid. Hydrofluoric acid interacts with the entire ceramic composition at the same time. However, the glass phase is etched significantly faster than the crystals due to their different structural organization. That's why there is a difference in etching time, which is directly related to the proportion of the crystalline and the glass phase in the material. Less glass phase, less etching time. Etching of the glass leads to the formation of pores, roughness and the formation of hydroxyl groups which are necessary for salinization. Due to the appearance of roughness, the area and wettability of the surface increase, which is closely related to the value of the contact angle. As a result, it promotes a deeper penetration of the adhesive systems and accordingly an increase of the adhesion strength. When the etching time is increased, the roughness, pore size, area and wettability increases respectively. Here is a small table from the article. Looking to the roughness curves and strength test for different etching times, it can be concluded that the lithium silicate ceramics, the value of 20 seconds is optimal, since it provides a sufficiently sharp contact angle and average roughness value, which leads to the best adhesion without reducing the strength. For feldspar ceramics, it's recommended to etch 60 seconds, which is also correlated with the roughness graphs and the contact angle. According to one of the hypotheses, the increases in the etching time promotes an increase in the width of the pores, while the depth of the pores does not change significantly. As a result, adhesion deteriorates. According to the scientific work of Carlos Perez and colleagues, the adhesion strength decreases with increasing etching time, because crystals are exposed too much and break out. The amorphous phase decreases, which also leads to fragility, especially thin restorations. So over etching can result that thin restoration can simply be broken. After etching follows the step of salinization and application of composite cements. Composite cement is a rather viscous substance, which difficult to penetrates into the pores. Its result in hollow spaces. That will lead to a decrease in the cement strength. One of the recommendations to avoid this problem is application of a bond. See the next non-acidic video about retraction of the gingival margin on our YouTube channel. How to choose the retraction thread and achieve optimal retraction. Write your question in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the future releases.